What's up YouTube? This is Madcock83 with my uh, Buildcraft mod pack for you today. I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to install Buildcraft and many other mods that i found go along greatly with Buildcraft. If you don't know what Buildcraft is, it's a great mod made by Space Toad. Um, you can find it here on the Minecraft forums. It's tell you everything you need to know about it. Um, what I've seen is a lot of tutorials on how to install Buildcraft or Wilder's Redstone and a few other mods that I've gotten but every time they tell you to delete your Minecraft folder or your Minecraft jar and start over which means you delete any other mods you may have had on there. Now when I had when I decided to put on Buildcraft I had a few other mods and they were had a big conflict with Buildcraft and made Minecraft crash. So what I'm gonna do is show you what order to install all these mods that you don't get a crash. Now first what you want to do is find your Minecraft folder. There's several ways to do it. You can go through run, type percent app data, slash Minecraft, all that. You simply type in percent app data, percent, boom, it pops up right there. Now before you start anything, we're going to get a new Minecraft folder. So take this one and simply drag it and put it on your desktop. This will be your old one in case this doesn't work, in case this crashes. You can always restart that way. You're going to open up Minecraft. Which of course, my computer is being slow today, so this may take a second. Uh, log in like you normally would. And what it'll start doing is downloading a whole new Minecraft folder. After all that good stuff happens, simply X out of it. By the time it hits the Mojang screen, you're good to go. And bring that same folder back up. If you type in percent, it should already show up. Open up your Minecraft folder. First thing we're going to do, go to bin. Right click Minecraft jar, open with Win WinRAR. Excuse me, I always have a problem saying that. First things first, delete this file here. I made it inf. If you don't, Minecraft won't work with any of these mods. That should be, that's like the basic for any modding program. First thing we're going to do, I'll put links in the description for all these mods. The main ones I have are, of course, too many items, uh, single player commands. These are just to help you simply get things done faster. Um, I have, of course, Buildcraft. I have equivalent exchange and wireless redstone and a mod which I haven't seen too many people around is this one here, the CCTV. What it does, it puts a closed circuit television in Minecraft. So you get a block that's a camera, you get a block that is same as uh, pictures that you put on the wall in Minecraft, except it's a screen. You place the camera down what you want it to look at you put the picture on a wall anywhere you want and when you right click it it'll change through 13 different cameras as long as you place 13 cameras I found it useful in Buildcraft because when you use combustion engines they tend to blow up every once in a while and maybe you have your engine on the other side of the map you can't run in there and check it all the time you can check a screen and if it's running if the engine's turning red you can run over there and turn it off or if it blows up you you have a picture of it and you know why it happened <coughs> The first mod we're going to add is too many items. Open up too many items. Then you're going to highlight everything in here. Drag it over and drop it into your Minecraft jar. Everyone's going to come up and just hit OK. Close that one out. The next one we're going to add is single player commands. This one's got two parts. When you open it up, highlight everything under this one that says World Edit Jar. Highlight everything underneath it. Put that in your Minecraft jar. Now bring up your your Minecraft folder, the one that has Minecraft jar in it, and you're going to drag that World Edit into that folder. Just like so. And close out single player commands. Now what I would recommend doing is after you put in one of these mods, two of these mods, open up Minecraft, make sure you don't get a crash screen. If you do, you did something wrong. 
Now when I open up Minecraft now, it's going to create a mods folder for me and that's what I'm looking forward to do. I'm just going to go in, create a world, wait 25 minutes for it to finally do it. Uh, so how's your favorite local sports team? Since we have nothing else to talk about while we wait for this. Once it generates the world, we have added single player commands and we have added too, um, too many items. We know single player commands is working because right there it popped up. And it's it'll tell you when there's a new version out too. Uh, we press E for inventory. Boom, not too many items is working. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can simply close that out. <coughs> you can close your Minecraft folder out for now, you won't need it. Now what we're going to add back to the Minecraft jar, first thing is mod loader. Now most of these things are simply what you need to get Buildcraft to work. But it turns out most of the other mods use mod loader and the mod loader MP. Well, we've added that one. We're going to add mod loader MP. Make sure you download the newest version of all of these. This will be up to date as of October 24th. Uh, the next one is going to be Minecraft Forge for client, not server. So I light everything in the folder, put it in there. All right. The next one's going to be Buildcraft. Now a lot of the rest of these are going to go in the mods folder. You can also do it this way, and besides just pulling up a regular folder, you can type in run, type in percent app data percent should bring up that same folder. And this is one we're working in now we have a mods folder. What we're going to do is open up mods. There should be one in there for single player commands and I'm going to put 2.2.3. These are all the, all five of them you need for buildcraft. Core, builders, energy, factory, and transport. <coughs> now once you add those in there, buildcraft is installed. Um, next one we're going to add is red power. Now there's a lot of these. Core, array, lighting, logic, machine, wiring, and world. None of them will work without core and a few of them won't work without the other one. So no matter what you do, make sure you add this one here. Red power core. And what I should have did with the other ones was copy and paste. So I still have them in my folder over here. So I'm going to do that real quick with these. Because now my folder is empty. Alright, now we have, we've installed Buildcraft and Red Power. Um, the next one we're going to do is a equivalent exchange, but it requires this audio mod. A few of them do. Audio mod goes into your Minecraft jar. So open up your Minecraft jar, grab these three. I'm going to hear where I can see what I'm doing. Grab these three folders, drop them in there. Audio mod is installed. <coughs> the next one is going to be wireless redstone, and that's just the wireless redstone. Um, I also like the clocker. So I got them both. Simply open it up in WinRAR. We're going to highlight all of these. And when it stops being a pain in the butt, drop them all in here. Try to drop them. When you drop stuff in your Minecraft jar, don't try not to drop them on top of a folder. Try to drop them on top of these class files because it will just add them to them. It won't put them inside a folder and make it not work. Um, 
Same with the redstone clocker if you want it. This is not a must. Red, uh, red power, I believe, has a clock in it, so you really don't need these. I just like the way this one works a little better. That is all that. All right, sorry about that. A few. Uh, I noticed I was missing a few out of here. Problem is, when you're doing these yourself, you don't have to do like I do with the copy and paste. You can simply hold it, drag it over into the folder you need it to be. But I'm trying to keep them all together, so I just copy and paste. Um, the next one we're going to add is additional pipes. This is the what used to be called teleport pipes for Buildcraft. Um, look them up on YouTube to see what they do. They are extremely useful. Some people like the looks of all the pipes in Buildcraft. Me, I have a crappy computer, so if you have 100 blocks worth of pipe from a quarry to a chest, and it's putting, you know, 600 items in that pipe at one time, it lags the crap out of Buildcraft, I mean Minecraft. <clears throat> the teleports will save you, you know, those 100 blocks of pipe and all those items in it. It just helps with the lag. Um, Additional pipes is the same as pretty much the rest of them. Thank God when they updated a lot of these, they made them where you can simply put them in the mods folder instead of having to add them to the jar. That's when things start getting messed up, was when you add them to the jar. So simply, you can drag it over, you can do like I'm doing, copy and paste. I like to copy and paste because I like to keep the original over here. Um, the next one is this equivalent exchange. Um, it's going to tell you you need mod loader, mod loader MP, and Minecraft Forge, but we've already installed them for Buildcraft, so this one's going to be fairly easy too. Simply copy, paste. Um, the last one, I have this one up here, it's the TV mod. And this takes a lot of work to get. If you can find the TV mod and you can take the time to do it, it's pretty nice. It puts an actual TV in Minecraft where you can play whatever video you want. Like I had um, the season finale of Breaking Bad this year. I had it where I could watch it in Minecraft. I mean, it's it's useless. It's you know, but it's it's something there, you know, just to say you have a TV in Minecraft. But anyway, this one's simply the same. This is a closed circuit TV. So I'm gonna copy and paste. That should be it. Simply close that one out, close out the Minecraft jar. Um, we've installed Buildcraft, Red Power, a close, close circuit television for Minecraft, uh, equivalent exchange, and single player mods, too many items, wireless redstone, and additional pipes. Those are the mods that we've added into it. Um, everything should be working. Try it out. For my next video, I'm going to do not necessarily let's play, but I'm going to show you what each one of them does and how they how you can make them work together. Um, this is Madcock83. I appreciate you watching. Please give this a rate. Leave me some comments. If you got any questions, leave in the comments. I'll see if I can get to them. I do appreciate it. And have a good day.